Good luck. All right, this marks week 57 of the Shogi Teaching Ladder. Um, so, uh, each game we review with our opponent, uh, the game and try to find improvements, um, after the game. I'll try not to be too startled by this strategy. Um... We're going to play Static Rook for once, because that seems like a fun thing to do. So yeah, we're going to learn something today. I know not what, but, you know, if we try to play a fighting game, we've got to assume that some kind of fight's going to happen. Um... I have an idea. <laughs> I don't know how many of you have guessed what my idea is. But uh, we'll get there shortly. Everybody will have ample opportunity to hazard a wager as to what I am up to. Oh man, there's so many things that we could do from this. All right, so there's our Static Rook Ascent. Um, hmm. If I drop the Rook back one... No, this allows them to promote their pawn, or rather to advance the pawn uh, to no profit of my own. So instead, we're going to play directly into our opponent's Sleeve Rook strategy which is right hand, third file, rook. I think for them, the issue is that I... Oh. I thought I knew what I was doing. My big plan was to swing the rook over here and smash this pawn. Um... Wow. They keep provoking. So I, I really, really want to try something, um, but, well, which is this hitting this here. Um, they'd have to bring back their rook to deal with the threat. Uh, this is so weird. They had some ideas, but. I think said ideas are falling apart very quickly. All right, so we are playing a novel opening strategy. Originally my plan was to do duck leg strategy. Bring the king up, silvers to the center, golds to the outside. But that doesn't seem like the best use of my tempi anymore. Um, when instead I can just directly counter my opponent's threats. Um, so we're going to bring the fight directly to our opponent. Now that the rook has moved off the file, but even if it hadn't, like if it was still over here, the rook would be a target. Um... Yeah, we are playing with fire. So our opponent is one move away from being able to stop me from doing bishop 5-5. Five five. I think now this forces this diagonal to open. Um, and all kind of mayhem could ensue here depending how fighting I'm feeling I'm playing right now. 
I think things might calm down if I end up doing Rook Takes Pawn, but they might become more chaotic. I don't really know. Um, but yeah, I've stuck a wedge in their camp. I can now take this pawn and just enjoy my wedge. We could consider going back and playing the duck leg strategy. Um, um, okay. We could consider whatever it is that might make sense in whatever circumstance this might be. Um, we're going to play as aggressively as possible because this way we can learn something. Um, I mean, yeah, I could play something more cowardly, but where's the fun in that? Yeah, the pawn drop is not legal here. So, um, for a second there I was thinking, wait, did I just miss a pawn drop and that radically changes my evaluation? No. Sadly, pawn drop is illegal in this position. All right. Um, we might end up playing another practice game. That might be our warm-up if we were quite excited. <laughs> uh, third file, right-hand rook, definitely caught me off guard. There's definitely some merit to that. <laughs> uh, 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 let's review first. Uh, yeah. As embarrassing as the game is, let's review it. Um, yeah. And then we could consider a rematch. Uh, yeah, kapow is the right response there. Um, so, yep, yep, yep. Uh, let's analyze from the beginning. Wait, did my interface just lock up? I don't know. Oh, okay. Yes, I'm the host of the board. Um, cool. So, very interesting. Uh, I've not seen this strategy before. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's quite the strategy. We'll give you that. Um, very good surprise factor. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So. I've heard about it. My goodness, this was a ride for both of us. Yeah. I guess we'll both figure out some of this together. <laughs> um... So, almost always I play a uh, swinging rook, but uh, this game I felt inspired uh, by your move. So, yeah, he's tried it a couple times in high level sh uh, games on Shogi Wars. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh,. The uh, TTJ, TTS uh, could be another fun place uh, to try it. <laughs> yeah, you could really get some awesome results with this. <laughs> yeah, uh, caught me off guard. So, uh, so yeah, I almost always play Swinging Rook, but you know... Looking at this, I'm like, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, uh, I don't know anything about the strategy or the timing of stuff here. Um, right, they have to defend the bishop's head. Yep. There's really no alternative. To, I mean, you could try doing other things, but I can't imagine other things working. 
So, uh, yeah. I was gonna, like, uh, do this. <laughs> I had this all planned out. Uh, um, yeah. I was gonna play No Duck Today. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what this is about. This is signaling, hey, I might try the duck on you, so... <laughs> I mean, it could mean other things, but in this case, it definitely meant I was going for the duck. Um, never seen somebody play duck two. Uh, too bad you blocked it. Well, uh, maybe it's best for me to play it anyway. I just assume you'd seen it before. Um, so, like, the idea here is that I can easily strike this. Uh, that's interesting that nobody's, uh, tried that. I wonder why not. But, yeah, there's gotta be something... Uh, some reason, like, why this is not the preferred strategy here. I just wasn't going to try to solve that under the gun. Yeah. Um, so, uh, I have to look that up in some database uh, engines sometime. Because uh, that looks interesting. Uh, for this game, I went out. Uh, just defend this point. Um, I, I think this is perfectly reasonable response on my part. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah, my play is unambitious so far. But then uh, this silver move happened. So you played this out, and this is kind of an issue. Um, I'm not really sure. Uh, I don't really know Sleep Rook. Uh, but yeah, I assumed, uh, silver to, what's it called? 2-8. Yeah. Yeah, like you indicate. Um. <laughs> yeah, I don't really know this. So silver 2-8 might be right. Um, I was very confused here, yeah, like, after Silver 2-8, um, like, uh, what do I do? <laughs> uh, I must have something I can do here, but hell if I know. Um, mm hmm uh, the opponent didn't have the rook on the fourth rank. Uh, that could be a difference. That very likely could be an enormous difference here. Um, yeah. And from here on out, it just becomes very difficult. Um, hmm. Um, uh, 
I'm not really sure what I can get away with here. Um, so... Uh, maybe I play the duck anyway, or... Or try Urashino, or something. Um, but yeah, if I play this here, um, this is temporarily difficult to deal with. But I guess maybe you have this, and uh, I am so confused. Uh, so, like, bringing the Rook over doesn't look great. Um, so, hmm. ideally, yeah, I, I want to stop this, this is all about the square. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Turns out your opponent can have surprises too. <laughs> yeah, so um yeah. I'll have to study this. Yeah. So, okay, we ended up playing this, and yeah. Um, yep. Um, at this point, things are hard to defend. So, I'd seen, like, if we did this... I take here, uh, you take back. Um, maybe there is some way to defend this after all. Oops. Uh, oh. Uh, so, okay. Yeah, this, maybe this is not so great. Um... Maybe I just have to close this um, and just go back and take that. Yeah. Right. I guess I just recapture here. Uh, then try to play a normal game. I don't know. Anyway, uh, yeah, a lot of surprises here. Um, uh, <laughs> tricky game. Very tricky game. <laughs> yeah. It's hard. So, yeah, if that... Oh, wait, hang on. Uh... Yeah, I forgot. So once he's played this, um, yeah, at this point, if they... Well, I'm sorry, this is loose. I was looking at this, uh, which... Uh, Ah, right. Uh, maybe this is stronger than uh, Bishop takes Rook. So, I know this is kind of being pedantic and stuff, but... Um, yeah. So, uh, once both silvers moved... Uh, I guess uh, there wasn't 
uh, defense. Um, so yeah, Mipu seems the best here. <laughs> uh, that's kind of sad, but it's just like super hard to defend at this point. Yeah. Well, that's rough. Um, we got through analysis of game number one. I guess uh, we're probably going to get another game in. Well, if we rematch, uh, it appears I get Santa. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is gonna be fun. They're gonna play Sleeve Rook. They don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure this works as Gota. Hmm. Hmm. Gotta think. <laughs> yeah. Well. Yeah. Uh, either way, uh, whatever you want, uh, uh, whatever strategy you want, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we could play another game, sure. This is an uh, interesting game, so, okay, where's the rematch? Oh, here it is, the plus one button. We'll see how this goes. Alright, good luck. I'm going to reset the board dimension. So I did mention that he didn't know what strategy I'm doing. We're going to do the strategy that our previous teaching letter opponent just did on us. So we'll see how this goes, right? Mm-hmm. Um, let's just mix things up just a little bit more. So while we're playing Central File Rook, what would be more interesting than playing Central File Rook, do you think? What would be more interesting than just playing Central File Rook? Oh, look at that! Huh. Guess we're playing Anaguba with Central File Rook. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Okay. Um, yeah. This, this will be good fun, right? So our opponent has hard committed to playing Sleeve Rook strategy, which I don't know much about. But... Given that our heart opponent has hard committed to a strategy, we're going to hard commit to some kind of strategy too. And hopefully in some karmic justice something or other, it'll all work itself out. But yeah, my king is just tucked in into this corner. Just really enjoying this corner of the board. Um... So, yeah, I don't think this is necessarily the right way for me to approach Central File Rook. Uh, let's just bring this over, you know? It's fine. My bishop and silver still protect each other. So we can still do crazy nonsense plays as long as I'm not hanging anything. Um... Okay. Have I played a bit too cavalier this game? Maybe. Um.
All right, our golds defend each other. Mm -hmm. I'm still missing something fundamental about this position. Um... I'm trying to find a good way to spend a tempo here, which is so ironic. But like, if I take, if silver takes, um, and that's a different situation than pawn takes, bishop takes. Pawn takes, bishop takes, well, no. Okay, I'm thinking about this wrong. Yeah, I should take this. Taking here will give me a tempo, even though my rook is kind of floating. Right. Oh, wait, no, it doesn't. Uh, I was imagining something else here. Alright, so we defended the head of my bishop, but my bishop's not here anymore. I was thinking pawn drop right in the silver's head would be very strong. That's why I selected this um is it strong i'm not sure pawn drop knight takes rook over pawn drop no they could take here um hmm we're both playing very aggressively. So I want to block their rook. I, there's a lot of things I want here. I can't have all of them. Yeah, no, I'm going to go with my impulse on this one. Which is that exchanging pieces as Anaguma is going to be extremely strong for me. So I should exchange pieces. Um... I missed, though, like now I don't have a Lance Lance orc. But I was considering bishop drop, rook moves, sacking the bishop, dropping a gold here. Um, that was my plan. I think this is still accurate, but there's so much that could happen here. Again, I'm just going on the general premise that as Anaguma, I want to exchange pieces. Um, seems like a reasonable general premise that might not apply to every single position. But, um, 
sure looks like it applies to this one. I forgot that this gold could move down, trapping my bishop. So I thought this rook has to move up. I'll drop a pawn, and then the rook can no longer defend this. But the rook could actually move across or somewhere else. Um, rather, this move is playable. I didn't think it was. So yeah, I could be in trouble. Hmm. Oh. Oh, you play this against Anaguma, do you? All right. Well. Um. Interesting. Hmm. I mean, I'm wanting to exchange pieces. This will definitely exchange pieces. I guess it's slowing down my attack on the center file if I have an attack there. Um, and I might not. Hmm. I'm nervous about just taking the pawn. Because this allows them to drop a bishop and start defending stuff. Hanging the rook is no better than taking the pawn. Um, well, hanging the rook would gain a tempo, but that's not worth it. Um, yeah, this pawn is actually in their way. Okay, we're going to stay true to my original plan here. Uh, which is attack down the center file. This bishop drop does gain a tempo in my opponent's attack. Um, but I'm okay with exchanging pieces here. Even if this allows a promotion, which I completely forgot about. I think I'm still okay with that. Um, yeah, we both promote my attack looks vicious. My attack looks very powerful. Their attack is also quite swift. Uh, if I can do anything about it, I should. So I'm trying to face the reality here that my bishop is trapped. Um...
So if I lift the rook, they bring the silver up. I take this. Silver takes rook. This is not a promotion. Silver is closer to my castle. They're threatening bishop takes gold. Um, yeah, the silver being off in La La Land helps me out a bit. Um, on the other hand, if I bring this back, if they retreat the silver, there's no way I can gain a tempo here. So my tempo gaining move is to take the rook right now. That's the tempo gain. All right, they have to take my rook. And I immediately counter um, by requesting a rook trade. Is that right? Do I take this knight by taking this? Does that somehow make a rook drop threat more or less powerful? I don't know. Um, if I drop a rook here, they have to block with their rook, and then I could use the horse to chase their rook, or I could just exchange rooks. Of gold takes, this is loose. So king takes, and then I do another rook drop. Yeah, so this is crushing. Um, I guess they could block with a pawn. I missed pawn block. Which is reasonable. I'm finding it difficult to compliment my opponent's move because it was such a good move, and I missed it so badly. Um, I should have seen that. So what now? We're going to expose my rook across this file, as was my backup plan. Um... Right, so they take here. Again, their silver is a universe away from my king. And we have a knight. So, to whatever extent I can, I should use my knight. Um... Oh. Well, we got some fun moves today, don't we? Um, so the silver... Hmm. <clears throat> Silvers have an interesting way of moving in this game. Um... I should just take the lance, right? But do I throw in a pawn drop first? Um, man, I keep trying to find the most incisive variation here. It's driving me mad that I keep finding better and better threats. Alright, we're gonna take this lance, which threatens taking the silver. Hmm. 
Try to make use of the Silver General. Maybe possible with some kind of Lance Drop, too. I don't know. Um. Now you might ask, like, hey, this suggests that I'm bringing out my Knight, right? Yes. Hey, this knight, this is going to be prone to some attack from the front. Yes. Knight's going to be pinned. It's going to be very prone to attack. But uh, we're going to see if we can checkmate the opponent before this knight becomes an issue. That's the plan. Not gonna lie, that is very concerning that they broke in so close to my castle um that is quite concerning Interesting. Extremely sharp. Um... Hopefully I'm okay. <laughs>
30秒40秒Oh, well, no, there was a piece here. I was going to say, if I just opened the diagonal, I wouldn't have had to sack that, but actually I did have to sack it. I thought I read this correctly. Um, San Giulio. Thought I read this correctly. Shame on me if I didn't. But uh, I tried. Somehow I thought I had a silver in hand here. I don't have a silver in hand, which changes that dynamic a bit. So now we've got a much more expensive piece operating like a silver in our Anaguma castle. Um, And we're going to have, like, all of our most expensive pieces defending our king in just a second, aren't we? Um, hmm.
30秒40秒One thing you gradually appreciate about Shogi is just how difficult it can get, or how difficult it is to checkmate the opposing king. Um, through much trial and error, you get a sense of like it being very difficult. Um,三十秒。四十秒。五十秒。一、二、三、四、五、六、七、八。What do we say to death? Not today. Maybe tomorrow, but not today. Now this might have been gratuitous, maybe I didn't need to do this. Maybe I was okay even absent that move. Um. Mm. Which way do I go? If I stay there might be trouble. If I go, it might be double. Should I stay? 
Where should I go? Sounds profound, but it's just a song. Um, no, the reason I made this escape hatch is because I don't believe that I survive in this corner. Um, so either I have to get better at believing, or just get better at surviving. Um... Sanju I would planned gold drop here. That was my plan. Do we stick with the plan? Is it a bad plan? Hmm. Sanjudio Yeah, that'll do it. Nicely played. Thanks for the game. That was awesome. Yeah. Um, Alright, so that's teaching ladder game number two. Oh, wow. All right. uh, <laughs> yeah. Let's turn off emote only mode. Scaredy cat. <laughs> that's a nice emote. Um, yeah, this is a, definitely a chance for us to play strategies we're not doing every day. Um, where did this cross the point of no return?
Hmm. Yeah. Well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. I take here. We exchange this. Uh, well. Um, somehow, uh, my attack should have been fast. Um, since I played Anaguma, uh, like, either my attack should be strong or fast. Um, so when I play Anaguma, it means either I'm going to have this punch that can knock out every opponent, or um, I'm going to strike when my opponent's not ready. Uh, this pawn... Uh, uh, it's probably bad. So, yeah, I have, like, this obvious move, uh... Oh! Okay, good. Yeah. So I could just, uh, full screen the board or something. Or you could at least hear me, whatever you want to do, but... Yeah, I think I should have done this, is my guess. Right, so there's this threat, as you're pointing out. And I think my response is, well, I'm on Aguma, I don't care. I think that's pretty much my response to everything, is, oh, I'm just playing on Aguma. I don't really care what happens, although here I actually might save the Rook. Now my Rook's floating, and that's kind of an enormous mess, but still, I've got a fork. This looked quite strong. Yep. Yeah, so you just play this. I take one of these. This is defended. So I think this would have been stronger. And if I get in any trouble, I can just start sacking pieces left and right. I think that's the plan. Also, now I have a lance, so the lance could go like here. And um, starting to close in on the king. Uh, I don't know. Maybe that's not the right square for the lance, but I think this is probably what I should do. And if I incur material losses, that's just how this goes. Um, I think that would have been smarter than what I did, which is just allowing you to attack faster and giving you more breathing room. Um, and then I did this bishop drop. Afterward, I realized, oh dear, I've trapped my bishop. Um, yeah, actually, this is, like, not a very good drop, because I don't have a follow-up. So it's possible my attack, even as Anaguma, could run out. Uh, which would be sad, but could happen. Yeah, I don't know. Um... Really looks like this attack's just doomed to run out. Um, yeah, so I have to take right now, otherwise I lose the bishop for nothing. So I get a gold. And yeah, a gold will strengthen this castle. Um, yep, yeah, so... Yeah, okay, I'm sorry, I don't take here. Oh! Am I being fatalistic about this for no reason? For some reason, I thought this was much sadder than it actually is. Um, the silver is here for the purpose of defending, so we'll use it to defend, and now we'll just run away. So now you have two bishops and a gold general, but I've got a token. I do have one token. So I could use this as some kind of foothold to continue an attack. Uh, yeah, that's surprisingly strong. 
Okay, so your reaction might have been... I'm oh, sorry, it just means that um, King takes here is like super airheaded. Um, this is a safer way to respond, even though there is this gold drop. And you will get some material here. Um, I don't have to take this. Um, instead, we could just take here. And yeah, it's it's a game. Um, I guess it does favor me. I don't play Anaguma very often, so yeah, maybe you're right. So that's why you were trying to stop me from attacking here. I see now. Yeah, maybe you're right that this was necessary. You had to defend, I guess. Um, so I briefly was considering this. I don't know why. I, oh, I remember why I declined this. It's because same reason, except this time my rook's not in the attack. Uh, wait, I meant this. Um, and that if I try to do this... Bishop's still trapped, and um, I mean, this is probably fine for me, I, I don't know. Not sure why I particularly didn't care for it. Um, yeah, two bishops, that's... Um, I'm surviving this, and since I'm surviving, I'm winning it, so what was I so concerned about? I don't know. Um, I mean, there is this intermediate move I was considering, I don't know. I take the rook, you take the rook, somehow something happens. It looks complicated, but no, I, surely I prevail here. Unless I do something like this. Um where I actually do lose the bishop. Um, unless I do something like that. Um, so instead I have to take here, I guess, and this goes. And my silver's loose, but I get this attack in. and Yeah, this pawn drop just ruined my day. It really slowed down my entire attack and gave you more breathing room. Um, yeah, that's a nice bishop drop. Um, I take this knight. You proceed toward my castle. I can't find any attacks. I just keep taking things. You drop this rook. Uh, I block. Because I don't understand the severity of your attack. If I knew how severe your attack was, I should have just exchanged rooks. Um, but I didn't have a good appreciation for this. Um, yeah, likewise, I thought I was definitely surviving this. And this didn't even look close to me. Uh, so that's why I took the silver. Uh, because I saw you were threatening gold drop on uh, 3-8 here. And then just taking the silver and, or taking the knight and, like, there's some pretty hefty threats here. So that's, I thought if I took the silver, I would checkmate. Um, it's possible I might be lost here already, but this is another thing I could consider. Um, it buys me one tempo, but my concern with this was that then I'd no longer be able to take your silver. Oh, I'm sorry, no, the dragon's hanging, but, um, my concern was that this was going to fall, and that you're still threatening drops on this side, so that's what I was worried about, um, but, yeah, possibly this just wins here. But not in the other position, but here. 
Maybe. I don't know. Also, if the dragon retreats like this, I could start putting pawns in between. Which makes the position more interesting. But, um, yeah, so this might have been the key thing that I missed. Uh, so between my pawn drop and my sacking this horse, assuming I had mate, um, yeah, this might work. I hope it works. It had better work, but I don't know for sure. Um, yeah, the other thing to consider here is, like, um, interposing something. And this way you can still, like, place this out here. Uh, so maybe it works. I hope it does, but I'm not completely sold on it. But I hope it works. Because I need something. Yeah, this is just complicated, but my pawn drop just... And this silver advance was just clever. Uh, which broke my ability to defend across this diagonal. Like, this was a brilliant silver move and an atrocious pawn drop. Um, and it's just extremely hard for me to defend. And I also did have... I lacked a appreciation for just how severe this attack was. Um, yeah. Yeah, interposing could have worked. So I sacrificed two silvers for this gold. Um, another idea would have been to try to defend from on top. You take my horse. I continue trying to defend from the top. I don't think this ends well, but it's an idea. Oh, I'm sorry, now you just take here. Okay, yeah, so I have to defend from underneath. Uh, yeah, you take those, you take this, um, you take that. And yeah, continuing the mate threats. That makes sense. And I just, I don't know, somehow... Like, there's got to be a million ways I can defend this. And I just didn't. And that's just terrible failing on my part. Yeah. I mean, that makes sense. You should be thinking about threat mates here. My attention was split trying to find a checkmate and trying to survive here, because I need a checkmate before I get checkmated. Uh, I just couldn't find anything at all. <laughs> um, so it's possible I might just be lost here. Oh yeah, no, definitely I've got threat mates here. Um, like, uh, what was it? I mean, I was struggling trying to evaluate or find them, but, um, yeah, I'm not sure. Like, that was the most dis disconcerting part of this, is that I must have a threat mate in this position. I just have to. Um, there's no way that with this combination of pieces that I don't have a threat mate. And yet, it's unsettling that I just couldn't find one. Like, I could consider night drop, night takes, this drop, gold drop, um... What was I looking at? It's just not quite there. No matter how I shuffle this, I couldn't find one. So I was quite embarrassed to not be able to find stuff here. Um, I mean, this is an idea, but then the king runs away, and then if, like, somehow I had this square covered, which I don't. Yeah, your castle's actually stronger than my Anaguma at this point, 
my castle has completely dissolved and I have no attack. So it's just uh, kind of appalling how bad my defense is and how bad my attack is at the same time. Um, so yeah, I think that all stemmed from this position where I'm like, hey, I could just put the silver here and say this attack is over. Um, and the reason I was considering this is because, uh, so how do I explain this? Um, how do I explain just how bad my board vision is in terms of like, I hallucinated something that's not even possible here. I was imagining uh, in a position like this, um, if I just passed, I was imagining horse takes, silver takes, and then horse takes a second time. And then I was giving you another move where you could drop this captured silver in front of my king. So I imagined you had two horses that both could take on the same square, and that you had another move and that I had passed in the first place. That was what I was imagining here. Um, which clearly is not even remotely possible. But that's what sent me into uh, some kind of mental state here, uh, where I thought, well, I have to react to this. And I gave you all the pieces you needed to attack with. <laughs> Whereas, like, if I play any other move, like, even this, I'm surviving. Um, it's just that one particular atrocious defense does not hold at all. Not even close. Uh, although, I mean, maybe it does work if, instead of panicking here and giving you another piece, maybe if I, like, try to defend... I don't know, but here I've given you a silver and you could still continue attacking, so I've made my task tremendously difficult by giving away lots of pieces. Um, yeah. So yeah, uh, you played the best attacking moves in this situation, and uh, yeah, this capture... It's probably the best move. I can't even tell anymore. Like, the silver drop here looks pretty tempting, too. Um, this could be stronger than taking the bishop. And the idea is if bishop takes, you still retain this mate threat. Oh, uh, wait, but then I could drop a piece here. Never mind, drawing out the king's the right idea. So, yeah, um, yeah, I think you played the best possible attacking moves. This is a very good, resourceful move here. Um, at this point, some of these moves might have been less than ideal, but that's okay. Um, out here, you don't actually have to push the pawn. Um, so, you have a mate here with this check. And that's mate. Um, yeah. Anyway, so this, this at the end of the game that I was trying to prevent this sort of thing from happening. Um, but I'd given you way too many pieces. So this is why I offered a bishop exchange. Um, it's because allowing you to promote the bishop uh, gets me made it, so... It didn't allow the bishop promotion, but you found another solution. Yeah. Well, it's such an unusual thing for the king to be drawn out this far, right? So, I can't fault you for missing that. But, um, yeah, you found this. This works. Mate is mate. Uh, yeah. My attack was nowhere near working because I gave away all my pieces. And your king was much more solid than I gave it credit for. 
And this pawn drop on 5-4 seals. Uh, I don't know. It's not that bad a move. It's strategically awful because it gives away my initiative and my ability to attack down the center file. Like, it's as good as a brick wall in the center of the board. It completely blocks my rook from attacking and also interrupts me while I could take one of your lances. Um, might even interrupt me from this sack, which maybe right off the bat might have been much stronger here. I don't know. Yeah, so this, uh, it's, you're right, it's surprisingly sturdy. Uh, I was astounded just how sturdy it was. Um, definitely wasn't expecting this. So I wonder, like, if I had just waited a move or sacked this first, and then... I don't know. Yeah, like, the rook is now a target here. Um, the rook can move away. And if I move this pawn up, like, silver takes, I still don't have an attack. Why is... I just, like, this sacrifice just does not work in the opening. I'm surprised. I need to be more patient. I don't understand Anaguma's strategy. So yeah, something much more patient like this might be called for. Um runs into many problems, but maybe this is what I needed to do. I don't know. Hard to say, but yeah, you played a very nice attack. I keep complimenting it, because um, what else can I do? I mean, yeah, there's that one point at the end, but um, other than that, I don't really know what happened. I'm not super familiar with Sleeve Rook. I don't always play Anaguma. I have played Anaguma before. I've had some limited success with it. Uh, this does not add to my list of successes, so yeah. Um, hopefully we both learned something from this. I'm going to have to run this past some engine to figure out. Like Anaguma's over my head, perhaps over your head, I don't know. Um, yeah. I just kept feeding you pieces, and you kept attacking very strongly, as you should. Yeah. Yeah, and that's good. Playing a variety of different strategies, you get to understand how they play and how to defeat them. You definitely got the how to defeat this thing down. At least with this one, so... Uh, at least when an opponent plays like I played, you got that down. So, yeah, best of luck in future games. Uh, if I continue playing like this, I'm going to need more luck, that's for sure. Um, yeah, that was a rough rematch. Um, so, scrolling up, uh, we can see the rating result. Does that show here? I guess the rating result doesn't show. There was a brief pop-up that did show that says my rating is now down to 1501. Meaning, if I continue playing like that, I'm going to derank. So, I gotta, like, step up my game. Uh, yeah. That's interesting, though. I'm, I'm trying a variety of different strategies. Like, if I played the same strategy every game, my rating might be more consistent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Alright. I think we ran the wrong way in the end. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's an interesting point, transport. Uh, transport. So I, during the game, I had commented about, like, hey, I'm making this escape hatch because I don't think I can survive. In the end, uh, this escape hatch, like, everything about everything I did was wrong. Which is pretty funny. And also kind of sad. But also funny that I could get so many things wrong. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess, yeah, this is, it's good that we have viewers who can point out my follies, because um, engines are kind of ruthless and not very helpful at teaching. They'll put, give us variations, but not ideas. 
Although here what we need is a variation, but still. Yeah, the idea is that running out to the center um, isn't enough. So, uh, yeah, interesting game. And best of luck with uh, various tourney games, be it teaching ladder tourneys or tourney to uh, Josu or whatever you happen to be playing. Um, very nice game.